Hi guys, welcome back to Experience Placements Tutorials. Um, today I need to discuss something that's quite urgent or quite important with our candidates and clients that have been sending through applications. Okay. Um, what I need to just briefly explain to you is that when you are sending your CV through for a position that we have advertised, um, you need to state in your subject line what position you are applying for. Um, in some cases, there's a reference number attached to that position. So you can either put the reference number, you can put the name of the position, or you can put uh, in the date that the position was advertised and from which website, or you can just state in your subject line, applying for administrative clerk, applying for financial manager position, at applying for admin position, etc. Uh, for instance, if you have a look at this one in the subject line, it just states applying for admin position. But he does also give a brief wording as to um, that his position is attached. I mean, subject line says applying for admin position. Okay. Um, in a lot of cases, what we've noticed is candidates and clients are sending through their CVs without any any attachment. I mean, without any subject line. Um, in some cases, um, they they forget to include the their CV on the attachment. It's just a blank email that comes through to you. As a recruiter, it's very difficult for us to filter through these emails and to figure out what this what this email is about. Um, and then we've got an email back requesting for information. What is the email with regards to? Are you applying for for one of our additional services? Are you looking at a position that we've advertised? That is the reason why we are paying to all our client, clients and candidates. That when you are sending an email, it may not only be to us as recruiters, it can be to any recruiter. Um, that you're applying through to um, for any position that they've advertised put in your subject line the position you are applying for the reason being is in most cases some some recruiters might not have the time to even open up that that email they might not even have the time to send an email back to you asking the reason for your email or requesting for you to send your cv through or what position you're looking for etc so it might just be a deleted email what we've also come across is when when you're sending through your your just your CV, um, what happens in that case is we open up the email. It's just the CV attached. We don't know whether you are applying for a position, whether you are wanting to us assist you with our services, being a prof professional CV or a cover letter or a personal profile, uh, PowerPoint presentation, etc. We don't know the reason that that CV is coming through to us. So please. Um, I urge you guys to please state in your subject line what that email is with regards to what position you're applying for, etc. I'll give you a, a look at this for example. These are all the CVs that have come through to us with no subject line, just the CV. Okay. Um, these are fine. They do have subject lines um, with the CV. It states looking for employment. In your subject line, state what position you're looking for. In the subject line saying looking for an admin position, looking for an IT position, looking for a financial position, a banking position, etc. States in your subject line, it filters out much easier. Um, in this case, just it's CV. Uh, yeah. If you if you look at the, 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 the emails that we're receiving, uh, some of them are quite difficult to even go through. Um, this one, for instance, is just an attachment. Um, there's another attachment um the, okay in some of the some of some of the subject some some of the emails when you open the email you will see that they've given you a description but as i said please rather state the description in your subject line it makes it much easier for us as recruiters to go through as well okay um the reason as i said the reason being is some recruitment firms do offer different services um so if you are sending through a cv and we don't know whether it's for a position or whether it's for a service it could get deleted or it could get misplaced um, perhaps your recruiter might not respond to you asking what the cv is with regards to um, in our case although in our case we do respond to every single candidate that comes through whether it be um, a, a response to to the email states net a thank you request etc or we'll state whether we are unable to open up your CV or if what, 
what's the email with regards to is it a vacancy is one of our services etc but as i said not all recruitment firms do it so please whether it's you sending it through to experience placements or any other company always have a subject line and ensure that you do have a body as well in your message give a brief message it will also um, entice a recruit to open up that cv as well um, perhaps put in your name um, for an example um, you could state good day dear recruiter um, thank you for your time and consideration please find attached my cv for your perusal um, i am looking for the admin position or the finance you can state the position you're looking for as advertised um, um, i will anticipate your response or i hope to hear back from you soon with regards to a short listing kind regards and you can have your name and under below your name you can also put your contact details you can have your contact number and you can also state your email address because in some cases you're applying directly off the website that the position was advertised so we get in the website's email address you can give us your personal email address on there as well, which will also speed up the process. In doing so, I can guarantee you that our shortlistings will get will get through them much quicker. And in that regard, it also shows your professionalism and you might actually be shortlisted for that position because you are showing professionalism in the body of your of your letter as well. So try and it does not have to be a very lengthy body. Try and be as brief as possible, but also come across as professionals as well. Um, guys, I hope this email, I hope this video helped you out um, with all future positions as well, not only with us, but with any company that you're applying for. Please make use of these of these tips that I've given you and um, we'll be back shortly providing you with more information on how to um, get through your interviews and upload your CVs, etc. Um, guys, have a good day ahead and thank you for your time and for watching. Bye.